Hey, I didn't see you there. I was too caught up with how amazing it is that Software Keep gives me the ability to go back in time to enjoy Microsoft Office 2013 Home and Student and every great app it has to offer. Come with me because I want to show you how to buy, install, and enjoy this great software from back in the day. So head on over to our friends at Software Keep. You'll see that every single month there's great additional deals to take advantage of. So make sure you do keep your eyes peeled for all those promo codes. So let's head over to the top left and select Microsoft Office. Now from here it sorts by use, application, or by year. Now we're looking for something in 2013, so let's go ahead and click exactly that. Now you'll see 2013 still has quite a few products in the market. And what we're looking for is Home and Student, so let's go ahead and click that now. And we'll see all the software included. And then of course the Software Keep team reminds you that this works only on PC. And if you're looking for a Mac product, go ahead and click here. But we're going to go ahead and add this to the cart. And instead of shopping around some more, we're going to view our cart now. And we're going to proceed to the checkout. Now once we do that, we get the opportunity to enter in one of those great promo codes. It's at the very bottom of the screen, so make sure you don't miss it. Punch that in, apply that, and we'll see that 50 bucks for the entire 2013 Home and Student Suite is a pretty sweet deal. So after you're done purchasing your copy of Office 2013 Home and Student, you're going to get an email that looks identical to this. Except it's not going to be coming from me, it will be coming from the Software Keep guys. And this outlines a really easy to follow eight step process. So if you don't want to listen to me ramble on, then feel free, but I'm still going to tell you what to do in this video. So go ahead and click that link, which is going to direct you to the Microsoft sign in page where you can sign in. If you haven't already, you can create an account if you haven't already, or if you have already signed in, it's going to pop you up to this three step process where you go ahead and click next. And then you're going to be able to enter in that product code, which is in beautiful red lettering at the top of that email. So go ahead and copy and paste that into the appropriate fields. And now you wait for it to verify that it is indeed a valid code, which obviously it is, but it does take quite a while to wait. So once Office recognizes the fact that this is indeed a valid activation code, you're going to go ahead and select which country you're in and which language you speak. I'm in Canada, and unfortunately I don't speak French, so I'm going to go ahead and select English and click Next. And now we have the huge task of determining whether or not you want to receive any kind of promotions from Microsoft. And I don't, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And now we have that bright orange Download Now button staring you in the face. So go ahead and click that, which is going to pop up the Office Installer. And once you click that, we just got to wait. So while Office is installing in the background of your computer, feel free to go ahead and read the entire licensing agreement, uh, but I'm not going to bother, so I'm just going to click accept, as we all do, and you can sign into your account if you wish, but again, I just want to get to the point, so I'm not going to bother just yet. And you could learn a lot more about OneDrive, but again, I'm going to skip on through there and get to the good parts. The good parts is waiting for it to install, so I will see you in a second. Well, look at that, you're good to go. Now to find all these programs, you're gonna to have to open up your start menu and click all programs. Scroll on down probably close to the bottom as we're looking for Microsoft Office 2013. Now once you find that folder, go ahead and click it where you're gonna see Excel, Outlook, and Word. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Word and just make sure that everything is in working order. Of course, make sure that you are connected to the internet at all times, as that's how it's going to verify that you have a valid copy of the Office Suite. And as soon as you click Next, it's going to say thank you and that you're good to go. Simply restart whatever program you're using and everything will be in working order. Well, hey, thanks for coming back in time with me. Now we can both enjoy everything that Office 2013 Home and Student has to offer. And also, obviously, a big thanks to Software Keep for even giving us the opportunity to do this. And while you're here, why don't you check out the description below? We've got a discount for you for your next Software Keep purchase. Thanks, and I'll see you in the future.